Ultimate Iron Man fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Ultimate Iron Man Season 1 series. So, this is shortly after successfully completing Mission 1. I came back and pretty much walled in the area around the the hole, the submerged tank entrance, and extended out uh, the, I guess, the platform. We'll call it just the platform. So what I want to do here is we pretty much have a CV ready to spawn in. It's a real cheap, basic one that I made. Mm, I think it was, it was Alpha 8. Sometime in Alpha 8, I, I don't think it was during a series at all. I think it was just a, a test series that I was playing, and and I made it. it. It's cheap enough to be a mobile base. I'm hoping that our vehicles will fit in it okay. So that's my only concern. So we should be able to... Here, let's close this. We should close that. Now, this should not interfere with being able to spawn it. We should be able to use even the surface of the of this to spawn it. So I think it'll be a big enough area. We should be able to make it spawn on this platform. Okay, so let's give it as much. We'll go halfway. We'll back right up here. Okay. So... What I got to do is finish it off, though. I got to grab some. Oh, uh, where are they? I need some windows or something. Something simple with a little bit of silicone. Do antennas. Is that going to be enough? It might be enough. Sure. Let's grab that. And we'll throw that in. And. So, one minute and 20 seconds. Okay. And, oh, we're down to six seconds, and we can spawn that in. That's awesome. So, let's cook that up. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Ready to go. So, this is our starter mobile base. And, oh, damn, is it going to fit? Oh, yep. Nice. Here, actually, I'm going to launch the drone because I just want to see where we're spawning it. I don't want it to tip off the side or something. Something ridiculous. Oh, it's you know why? I see. I see why it's doing that. Let's just lift this up a bit. There we go. And we can move this over. It doesn't have to be so freaking close. Let's. Where's the back? Oh, that's the back there. Can we spin this? No, see, it won't let us spin it. We can move it. We can page up. We can page down. We can move it side to side, but we can't spin it. Okay, well, that's okay. I'll just jump in it and move it, right? So let's just make sure we don't spawn it off the pad so it tips. That looks good right there. So this is our cheap mobile base that I made it um, when I originally made it it was pretty much completely out of salvaged parts of course and I've got sensors built into it so that the oh they work with the drones now that's cool okay so I've got sensors built into the back ramps so that it op it it's an inverse sensor so that it activates the ramp and it opens the door at the same time. So we can jump in here. And so this is the cargo bay. And you can see it, you have to be pretty close to activate it, but anything will activate it. So your body, um, it's just... I like doing the sensor for the for the cargo bay thing. It's just so much easier. 
especially when you got a ramp involved it's just it just works so much better and the circuitry for that I'll show you in a bit after I because people were asking how to do the circuitry on that it's actually pretty simple okay so this is a simple little garden area <laughs> that just leads to basically the cockpit and um, yeah so there's not much to the CV we've got uh, entrance elevator entrance bottom top in the middle here we can get to the oops we're gonna put in some grow plots in there obviously uh, we've got to put in all the gear into here so cargo boxes um, can, you know um, all the all that crap all that crap car uh, constructors so this is the engine nacelle rooms and you can see they've got all the thrusters they've got the generators um, this has everything it needs right now to be airtight with oxygen and be able to fly. Um, I'm pretty sure it can warp too. Where's, I'm pretty sure I built a warp tank into it. Yeah. So there's the uh, warp drive tank and then the, the warp drive is just around the corner. Um, now originally when I built it, the balancing for it, the weights and measures for everything was quite a bit different, I bet. So it's probably not balanced now. But I don't think that's going to matter because we don't have weight restrictions enabled right now. Um, how did I compensate for the weight on this side? I forget. But I think I have more RCSs or something. Like they were super heavy from what I remember. 40 tons. We just want to look at, we don't care about the volume of it at this point. It already fit in the, in the CV. It's the volume of it. It's not in a container right now. It's, it's a block attached. So all that matters is mass. Once it's attached as a block, all that's going to matter is mass. Remember that. Uh, its volume is just how much it takes up inside of uh, inside of a container. It's not in a container anymore. So once the weight is enabled, that's going to matter a lot for how much it's going to be balanced between the two sides. So I've got 40 tons on each of those. We've got three of those. We've got a small, a large T1. Large T1 is 40 tons. The smalls are 20 tons. Okay, so exactly half. Okay. Um, wow, the the T1s are so much more efficient then. Holy crap! Not only not only space. Oh. Yeah, not only space-wise per weight per cube, isn't it? Aren't they less weight per cube? Uh, no, they're a little bit heavier weight per cube, right? 40 tons, 40 divided by 3, as opposed to 20 divided by 2. Yeah, so these are a smidge heavier per block. The, the the bigger generators okay well that that makes sense they also put out more energy um, what are the what are these here 35 tons and the oxygen tanks two tons okay so 40 tons, 40 tons, 20 tons, 35 tons. Okay. So the fuel are really freaking heavy. Okay. Okay. 
Now let's go check out. So we had three RCS over there, three of the fuel. What do we got over here? We've got one, two, three RCS, one, two, two fuel. Okay, so we only got two fuel. And same amount of O2. So that means in, but we have only, only one small generator. So that's 20 less plus 35. So that's 55 less, but then we add it in. Let's take a look at what this is, 40. Okay, so so we're at 15 less. What is this one? Four. So we're at 11, 11 less on this side. Not bad. Not bad. I actually, I'm I'm impressed with myself. That's that's pretty good. That's actually fairly balanced. I don't know if we're gonna get it bal more balanced than that. That's. The blocks just don't weigh less than that to be able to balance that out. I can put, I mean, the thing is, is that's what they build these things for. The, um, oh, I can't show yet because I'd have to put a constructor in here to show yet. But uh, you can build those, those mass blocks, I believe, to fill in spaces and for balancing. So those are going to come into play now because they didn't really matter before. They're going to start mattering, I think. They're going to start mattering. Okay, just had to grab some sweet tea here. Uh, yeah, I'm addicted to sweet tea. That's all I pretty much drink. 24-7. <laughs> uh, actually, in Canada here, we call it iced tea. <laughs> Down in the States, United States, sweet tea and iced tea are two different things. Up in Canada, they're pretty much the same thing. It's sweetened iced tea. <laughs> okay. Just live with it. We've combined the two. It makes it simpler. <sighs> okay. Anyway, I'm going to start calling it iced tea. So this looks like it should fit our vehicles. No problem. Let's, although it does scoop down, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, let's start moving stuff in. we got to put uh, Wi-Fi in here. Um... I think we'll just put the Wi-Fi right up into the corner there, eh? So we need Wi-Fi. We need to make a Wi-Fi, and the rest we can probably just pull in. You know what? We can do that right from here because we've got the Wi-Fi. We've got the Wi-Fi, so we need we need ammo. We need a small one. I think we're probably going to need bigger than that, but we've got the advanced constructors. Okay, let's move these concrete out. We don't need the concrete right now. We, we will use that in a second. Uh, we're also going to be multi-tooling down there, and we're going to need that. We're going to need those, obviously. And what else do we want? We want medical devices, yeah. Uh, we want actually two advanced constructors. And we're going to need a bunch of cargo right off the bat. Okay, and what else? The grow plots, right? Where are those? Steel grow plots, we've got a bunch of those. Now let's just put, um, let's just put this core in here for now. Okay, so let's, hmm, where should we put the constructors? I'm thinking to either side of the stairs, maybe? Because I want to do, uh, hmm. You know what? No, I want to do, I want to do the oxygen. How much does that weigh? 1.5 tons. Oh, and one ton. Okay. So which, which side was the? We can we can still try semi balancing stuff. So it was this side, was the warp on. So if we put some of the heavier stuff, slightly heavier, although that's really centered, it's not going to make as much of a difference, but. So that's one ton, 1.5. Let's put the 
um, right here. Okay. And then the... Actually, I kind of want a repair bay right there. Ooh, I should have checked out to see how heavy a repair bay was. Uh, how heavy are these? These are 60 tons. So let's get those close to center. Wow, 60 tons. Holy crap. Let's... We don't want those way over to the sides, I think. We want those more centered than anything. And when I start designing the, my vehicles, I'm going to be starting to design based on center of mass, not, not, uh, I want pretty much all the weight in the dead center, like a big molten core. <laughs> and we'll see if I can achieve that. But I think this is the position. Oh, I want this facing. No, actually, I like that facing better. Let's do that. Put that there. And we'll spin it to match. Oops. Oh, I didn't want to put that there. Okay, let's make sure before I start lifting stuff, let's make sure we go in and set this to private. Yes, it is. Good. Okay, and then... I'm going to pop that off because I derped. Okay. And then let's put that back. Um, really? Okay. There and one over. I'm going to put the repair station there. The inside will, inside will have the medical bay stuff. And then here I want to put all the cargo containers. But we're not going to block off here. We're just going to leave a one. Um, hmm. What about deconstructors? Can we? Can deconstructors actually go on? They can. Can they not? I believe. Oh, they can only go on bases. Okay, that's fine. That that's fine. We're going to be building a space base with everything, with a furnace and everything. So. Let's get these cargo boxes in. We'll start off with four on each side for now. Uh, we're going to do these ones. Now, obviously, once I do weight restrictions, everything's going to be so different. I'm going to have to design the interior hull to be like all cargo container extensions that are balanced when they fill up so that the ship doesn't tip over and stuff. Um, if any of you are playing with weight restrictions on, you know what I'm talking about with when you fill up a cargo container on one of the small hover vehicles, like with those, with the shitty little starter um, hover thrusters, your, your vessel tips over. It just, it literally tips over. You can't, you can't control it. It's, it's really horrible. So you have to balance your vehicles and it makes sense. So, okay, we've got those in. So we can do some construction in here now. We can move stuff into here. Um, let's get the grow plots. And I'm going to take a bunch of the steel grow plots out of the base too, because uh, those were just temporary. And they were never meant to stay in a base. They're, they're steel grow plots. And steel grow plots require like... Um, oops. Actually, here, let's... I want to do down the center first here. Just, just so that makes it a nice, wider place to walk. Right. Huh, that was weird. Okay, and ten more, but four more we can do. Two, three, and we'll just do two on this side. It's fine. We'll, we'll be grabbing more. We should be able to fill this up from the stuff in the base. We should be able to fill this up from the stuff in the base, no problem. Okay, 
Um, because over on these sides here, we're going to put like uh, the food processors and fridges and then medical over on the other side, I guess. We, we kind of want to balance it out too. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll take a look. We might, we might put some stuff. Oh, that's not going to fit there, is it? Well, we can put stuff in these squares here. I mean, we, we've, We've got options. We've got options. We've got options. Okay. So this should work pretty good for us. Um, decent size. Yeah. Maybe I'll take the repair out of the... Uh, <laughs> we'll take, take the repair station out too. I don't feel like making another one. Uh, so yeah, let's go do that. We're going to go grab. We're going to go grab the grow plots. Because that's the only stuff we've got to, uh, that's the only stuff we've got to multi-tool out of the base. Everything else we can just Wi-Fi out. And we also want to multi-tool this down to, you know what, you know what, maybe we should do that and finish off the episode by just multi-tooling this down really quick, throwing it into the factory because I, I want to bring this in now. Our, um, where is it, where is it, my... SV, SV, oh, there we go. Box top advanced. Yeah, it's an advanced box top, okay? No, it's just, the name of it is just to reflect that that's the entry style of it is, it's a box top entry. Now this should work for the new patches that they just applied because my, my old one, I'm going to have to modify the cockpit area if I'm going to keep that one. I don't want to keep it. This one's a better vehicle. It's just faster. Yeah, it's more responsive. It's more combat. It's just better. It's just better. I want to bring it in. So we're going to upgrade our SV to this. Um, we've already got a whole bunch of mats ready to go in it because of the overages from blocks that I put in for the CV, so that's great. We don't really need a lot. So we've got all this, no problem. No problem. We're going to multi-tool this thing down, and let's see what we get. Let's see. So let's grab the stuff out of it first. Uh, we need to move it all, right? So what we need to do is we're going to grab box top. Uh, let's put it on the We'll just put it in the submerged tank for now. So what are we looking for? We're looking for all of its crap, right? What has it got in it? Uh, here, what is that? Tools, O2 water. Come on, let's put that all in there for now because we've got to grab all that for the CV. And then fuel output. We'll put that into output. One, that's where I usually put all, make all my stuff, so it's so lots of ready. Oh, you know what? What That was stupid. I didn't need to do that. that was put this into ammo. <laughs> that's where all the ammo goes. <laughs> ammo. Okay. Uh, fridge. Nothing in the fridge. Okay, so now it's just, now we got to do the, I, I should have put the, the submerged tank over here, and then the, what you're wanting to strip down over here. The reasoning being is because the fuel and oxygen tank axis are on this side. I just thought about that now because I'm a derp. So let's go into here and um, we can take all the oxygen. And, oops. And then we can go into the fuel and take all the fuel. Okay. 
Okay. Um, there's nothing in the short range warp. No. Okay. Okay. So now that we've pretty much stripped everything out of it, we're going to strip it down. Basically, this is our chop chop. So let's just double check. Always double check that before you start take wanting to take whole blocks, you've got it set to private, okay? Or faction, if you're in a faction. Uh, or uh, guild, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay, so here we go. Let's start multi-tooling this thing. Now, what I should do is just put this directly into not itself. So we will just put this into, what blocks again will it fit in here? Yeah, because we're going to be using blocks to put into the... So let's let's go us here, submerge tank here, and then we're going to go blocks here, and we're going to connect. So now when we multi-tool, it'll just go into here. Okay, so hit T to switch to the Y. No, no T? No, can we... Oh, there we go. Is it that going to... So T doesn't work anymore. T is lights? Is T lights now? No. T's doing nothing. Huh. Okay. Uh, well, at least you can cycle through just by hitting the same number. Okay. Just double tap a number and it'll cycle through the two. I Okay, they changed something on that. It was T, but you could cycle through too by hitting the same number, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I, I don't know why they changed that. That 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 worked for me. For now, they're changing it back. So what is I, what's so there's no so T isn't assigned anymore. Can I switch it back to lights? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so let's just nuke this thing down. You can see this just had the medium thrusters in it. It didn't have the jet thrusters. So the new one we bring in is going to have the jet thrusters. So it's going to consume more fuel, but it's more responsive. Um, not that this wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. I mean, you know. Six thrusters in each direction of the medium type is not bad. I, I, it was just a little bit heavy for the six medium thrusters. See, there's the new generator models and the, uh, the O2 we can't hear. Let's take this out so we can get in there and look. Can't move and trap the drone can't fit. Eh. There we go. Okay. So there there's the new generator. Although those are the generators. Where's the O2? There's the O2. There's the new O2 model. The O2 tank for the vessels. And that's the generator model for the vessels. So they changed that. That's cool. I like it. It's better. It's definitely better. No, that was the fuel tanks. Here's the generators. These are the generators. The other ones for the fuel tanks, sorry. That's right. I'm like, wait, no, these are the generators. Okay, and I don't know what I got blown up on my rear end, but something got blown up. <laughs> I lost a block back there when I was getting shot at by something while I was looting. Something. I can't remember now. I don't think that was on camera. I was trying to figure out what it was, and I couldn't figure out what it was. I'm like, what the hell did I blow up in the... I'll have to, like, go look in my my um, my um creative, spawn it in, and see what it was. It was probably something really good, too. But, uh, oh, I didn't want to pop that. Okay, we got to put a core back in. Got to put a core. And it went to the red name. That's weird. Okay. Uncored is red name now. Yeah. Okay, let's 
trippy. Um, let's see how much we've got so far. We can put um, a whole bunch of stuff on our bar. So we don't need... What do we... That's all the SV stuff. I want to make sure I'm putting... Throwing all the SV stuff back in. CV, CV. I don't want to be wasting... It's SV. Don't want to be uh, nuking my uh, my base stuff. CV. Okay. Let's see what we got here. It's bringing up the cobalt a bit there. That's good. That's the one thing. I think I'll be okay, though, because if I have to, I can put more O2 tanks in. Copper, good. Still got a bunch of silicone to make up. That's okay. We've got silicone. Carbon substrate is easy. Yeah, we're getting there. We're lowering the time, too. So, excellent. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish multi-tooling this thing down. I'm going to put a core back in it. Where did I put those? Right there. Um, somewhere where I'm not going to nuke it again, right? Let's put it down at the front here so that we know. Don't touch that, you idiot. And does that switch back to private automatically now? Yes, it does. Okay, good. Good. Let's, come on, hit the same run, there we go. Well, I'm going to keep multi-tooling this thing down, and we will spawn in the other SV. I'm going to get the, I'm going to multi-tool a bunch of the grow plots out of here, and put those in the CV. Uh, I'll get the garden going in the CV. We'll get uh, a bunch of ammo. We'll get it fueled up. We'll get it all prepped up for flight so that we can take the uh, vehicles, which I, I'm going to spawn the SV in probably at the beginning of next episode and get that all prepped and we'll, we'll, we'll take off. I need to go to the trading station and buy some um, refined pentaxid because I forgot to do that last time. I don't want to turn the pentaxid that we have into refined pentaxid because I want to use it for um, ammo because ammo is really expensive for the, the laser weapons and, and those are really uber weapons so I really want to get that stuff going and I don't want to spend it on, uh, on fuel for warping so yeah. Next episode, here, let's turn my light on, jeez. Next episode, we're going to have a CV ready to go. We're going to have an SV to spawn in, a better SV to spawn in, a little bit more um, combat capable. And we'll probably take the... Really what I should do is spawn that in as soon as possible and take it around the planet and dis discover everything on here because there's been meteorites falling and I'd like to take the uh, whole mole and just and collect those. So because they're usually meteorites are huge scores like a thousand ore or more. So um, unless they change that, that's what it was like in Alpha 8, 7, 6, 5... <laughs> So even if the deposits are peeny on the planet, the meteorites that fall seem to be just massive. So I want to grab those because I've been seeing the signs that meteorites have been falling. So that's, that's good. Well, okay. We'll throw this stuff in here one more time and we'll call it an episode. There'll be steel blocks hardened steel blocks more of that the that 
CV, 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 SV, 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 is that not, yeah, that can stack, that's SV, 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 and SV, okay. Let's see what this will do for us. Can't use the numbers to change that. You've got to manually do it with the, okay. Each each window seems to have a different way of doing it, but that's okay. Uh, that's good. And what are we at for Sathium? That was not much. That's fine. Let's give us copper and silicone, right? Yep, good. I don't think we get cobalt out of it, no, no. Lots of lots of iron, copper, and silicone though. Not much anything on that. And we are knocking the times down. You can see the time stamp goes down. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're adding to it slowly. So I might have to put some C V base blocks in to really knock the uh get the especially the Sathium, the Zascosium restroom. I could use just ingots, but blocks will work for that too. I think there might be there might be a laser drill that is no, I think I've already deconstructed it. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. We've got the uh the other the other ones, we've got, where are they? Where are they? They should be in here. Yeah, we've only got two of them down so far. Okay, that's fine. Uh, these have cobalt in them, so I want to grab a stack of those. I want to grab a stack of those. Wireless connection, we'll hold on to that. Grab these, grab these, and that's... Okay, is there anything else that is the SV? CV, SV, SV, SV. Okay. One more time, let's see what we get here. That's about half the Zascosium restroom. We'll have all that from the other ones when we knock them out too. Okay. And we've got all the copper we need. That's fine. We'll just keep adding because it'll knock that down anyway. Uh, we've almost got all the cobalt we need. So that's excellent. We're getting close to the iron count. Carbon substrate I'm not worried about. That's super easy and cheap to make. So Sathium. We'll get to that. Uh, so we're way over on the copper. That's not, that's okay. Those silicone. Good. We're close to the cobalt now. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. Everything's getting there. And okay. And the time's counting down. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to finish this off off camera. You can see that, uh, we'll be able to spawn the, the new one in. No problem. No problem. I'll finish knocking this down. We'll finish, uh, equipping the CV and we'll get the we'll have the SV the new SV ready to spawn in for next episode the CV will be ready to go we'll equip the SV and we'll take off to uh, like I say I want to go to the moon I should I should take it just flying around and I don't want to take the CV I should just take the SV flying around and try and find meteorites first because I'm pretty sure they're going to be promethium ones because what do we have left here? It's going to be promethium and copper, I think, that I've triggered. And if we go smoke the... If we go take out a bunch of these spaceports and the drone base and that all their turrets so that they can't shoot, we can bring in the whole mole and clean all this up. And just clean it all up. We can take out the fortress uh, turrets and and get those iron because that's two more iron that would only leave two left. And I believe we know where another one is. Do we not? 
that's a dead, that's a fake Prometheum, so that's never going to work. Um, no, we don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. So take out that. So we can we can take out three. We can trigger off the iron also. We can trigger the silicone, the iron. We just got to take out all those bases. And I think that's probably a good thing to do. I don't know if we need to, though, because I'm going to be level 20 pretty soon. And we we can drill a bunch of stuff in space. I do need the copper. But there is an, a copper asteroid in space, because if we look here, come on, and we go into the, oh, can we not, can we not do that anymore? Can we not look at, no, we got to be in space to do that, the sector map, we can't split that off into okay well that's fine I thought we could look at planet info Tank, and then we could see we didn't we don't get any so we lost our our info screen here for the we used to be able to choose like all the stuff that we discovered Did we have to be up in the sector then to choose stuff? So I guess we got to be in orbit. Okay, well, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, well, I'm gonna call it here. Next episode we have a CV and an SV. We're gonna spawn in and we're gonna go to the moon. We're gonna stop by the trading station and go to the moon and then uh, we'll be doing some mining on the moon with the uh, whole mole. So yeah, till then you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.